SCEAV. HOTS was a lawsuit in the United States by Sony Computer Entertainment of America against George HOTS and associates of the group Fail Zero the Flow for jailbreaking and reverse engineering the PlayStation 3. Topic timeline On January 11, 2011, Sony sued HOTS, Hector Martin Cantero, Sven Peter and DAS 1 through 100, purportedly including members of Fail Zero Overflow on eight claims, including violation of the DMCA, computer fraud, and copyright infringement. The law firm used by Sony is Kilpatrick Townsend and Stockton LLP. In response to the suit, Carnegie Mellon University professor David S. Turetsky mirrored Hotz's writings and issued a statement supporting that Hotz's publication is within his right to free speech. On January 27, 2011, Sony's request for a temporary restraining order was granted by the U.S. District Court for the Northern District of California. This forbade him from distributing the jailbreak, helping or encouraging others to jailbreak, and distributing information they've learned during the creation of the jailbreak. It also ordered him to turn over computers and storage media used in the creation of the jailbreak to Sony's lawyers. Professor Turetsky's mirror was voluntarily censored following issue of the TRO, but Hotz's writings and software have been mirrored elsewhere. On February 12, 2011, Hotz posted a rap video on his official YouTube page explaining his Sony lawsuit. On February 19, 2011, Hotz started a blog about the Sony lawsuit. On March 6, 2011, the court issued an approval that Sony's lawyer were allowed access to all the IP addresses of all the people who visited GeoHot's blog for the purposes of establishing jurisdiction. Sony said the server logs would demonstrate that many of those who downloaded HOTS's hack reside in Northern California, thus making San Francisco a proper venue for the case. On April 11, 2011, it was revealed that HOTS and Sony had reached a settlement out of court. This included a permanent injunction against HOTS doing any more hacking work on any Sony products, to prevent any future firmware release from being decrypted. The claims filed in United States District Court for Northern California, San Francisco, violating the Digital Millennium Copyright Act 17 USC Section 1201 violating the Computer Fraud and Abuse Act 18 USC Section 1030 a 2 C contributory copyright infringement 17 USC Section 501 Violating California Comprehensive Computer Data Access and Fraud Act Section 502 Breach of contract related to the PlayStation Network user agreement Tortious interference Misappropriation Trespass Topic. Alleged anonymous attacks in response to lawsuit The activist group Anonymous announced their intent to attack Sony websites in response to Sony's lawsuit and, specifically due to Sony's gaining access to the IP addresses of all the people who visited GeoHot's blog, terming it an offensive against free speech and Internet freedom. The attack would be a form of hacktivism. Although Anonymous admitted responsibility to subsequent attacks on the Sony websites, much speculation has arisen concerning a sustained collapse of the PlayStation Network in April 2011. Anonymous has denied any involvement in the PlayStation Network outage. However, Sony announced on May 4, 2011. We discovered that the intruders had planted a file on one of our Sony Online Entertainment servers named 
anonymous with the words we are legion topic see also electronic frontier foundation george hotz groklaw illegal number strategic lawsuit against public participation forum shopping